Hey guys, welcome back! I'm about to try and figure out how to get through there, because I forgot. I know I got up there, but I want to figure out how to do it the legit way. Um, no, I did this, I just went backwards. Oops. Let's go back through here. Avoid this stuff. Uh, go through here. Uh, how did I... Oh, that's how. I forgot about that. Okay. There, this is how to do it legitimately. <laughs> you can also do just what I did and bounce off an enemy to get up there. That increases your flutter capabilities. Like, watch us. You can go really high by doing that. Yeah, I've still got a watermelon, by the way. <laughs> watermelon seeds, I should say. And we're done! Yeah, when you bounce off an enemy and hold the flutter button, or I should say the jump button, you'll flutter much, much higher than you normally would. That comes in handy on some levels, and is, I think it's even required in some places to get the perfect score on others. Uh, just this camera a little bit. There we go. I wasn't sure how centered it was because I was on a pause screen. Okay, big booze for it. Okay, bigger booze for it. <laughs> I'm getting the name screwed up today. Oh well. Okay, hit the switch and run like mad. You can get that flower if you want. <laughs> if you don't know how booze work, when you turn their back to them, then they attack you. They're shy. See, they kind of blush. Oh shoot. I'll just take a hit. <laughs> Trying to demo something and I screwed up. But yeah, that's how booze work. They're shy. They attack you only when your back's turned to them. Okay, hit this. Stairway will come up. And now... Oh, I'll shoot. <laughs> ah. See that uh, middle ring there? We're gonna have to pass through that in a minute. Hit this. I think this gives you a key. Oh, there we go. Yeah, ricochet off the wall, by the way. Is that key necessary? Yeah, I think it's necessary. Whoops. And move back. And take the key door. And it locks behind you. Don't worry, we'll get back. And take this pipe back. And then you can drop this crate downwards, but I'm not going to worry about that. And take this platform back over here. You'll notice that when those stairs were up, you know, the stairs that you made, this was blocked off. Now it's not. Now you can go through. This flower. A couple of these guys. You can step on... Whoops. You can step on them and it'll squish in the background like this. Oh, wait, he didn't do it. Oh, I'm thinking of slimes. Never mind. Okay, hit the switch. Now run. If you can. Uh, okay, we made it. Yeah, this is the way out. Woo! Ooh, change the scenery. Okay, see this thing? Stand on the back side of it. That'll tilt it for. Wait, no, it's the forward side. Never mind. It'll tilt it forward, and then a wave will come of lava. See that wave push me? Yeah, it's kind of like a surfboard, except of death. <laughs> And continue on. We're nearing the boss now. I think we are. Yeah, we are. Go through that though, hit the checkpoint. See these things right here? They kind of flip. Jump from here to here, then up here to here. Your space that you um, stand on obviously differs depending on how those things are angled. Walk to the right. And would you look at that? There's Kamek again. Oh yes, we have Baby Mario's twin brother at Bowser's Castle. But we're not handing him over to the likes of you! You will in the end! Believe me! <laughs> Adjust the camera a little bit. Okay, now, basically, what you have to do is turn your back away from him and then ricochet eggs off the, off the wall back at him. See this? See, he now he's now he's vulnerable. Ricochet off the wall and hit him. There we go. 
Uh, I'll, I'll go over them. Look right here. Aha! It's better that you get him to stay low, because the bigger he gets, the harder he is to jump over or avoid, as you can see. Yeah, he's done! Boom! He got so big he exploded. That's the end of the universe! Okay, no. <laughs> but that takes care of bigger booze for. Now, the introduction of Lakitu, or Lakitu, however you want to pronounce it, I'm not exactly sure. Watch out for Lakitu, I'll just say. <laughs> See these platforms? They fall, and then this is actually a spike, so don't land on it. That, that little balancing beam turns into a spike after the platform goes away. It does look kind of spiky. <laughs> oh, and in case you didn't notice, don't throw too many eggs downward. Because that kind of, uh, yeah, it's destro destroyable floors. And the Koopa shells I wouldn't recommend messing around with either. <laughs> Oops. Hey, hey, give me that. Okay. Oh yeah, you can get baby Mario back with uh, your tongue too, by the way. Ah, there we go. You know, I'm getting tired of your little cactus bouncer thingy. There we go. Yeah, cower. <laughs> cower before my mighty tongue. Okay, use this, use that to get up here, and there we go. Wait, can I? Yeah, I think this is the way. Yeah, this is the way. The other way is if you want to get 100%. Or I should say 100 points. Continue on. Aha! Pass this stuff. Look out for stuff hiding in these bushes here. Yeah, they don't turn into spinies, so don't worry too much about them. But the like, Lakitus are still annoying. Okay, jump over this one, because there's a, a Sniffit in here. I mean, uh, a thief in here. See that? He steals Baby Mario. <laughs> That's a little surprise that they threw in there that you couldn't possibly know. <laughs> but don't worry, it's easy to get Baby Mario back there because it's a flat plane. Just lick him with your tongue. Yeah, Yoshi's a pedophile. <laughs> I can. And we're back in the caves. The cave of the mystery maze. Oh, this one. Yeah, you have to know where to go. I'll show you where, don't worry. If I remember myself, go all the way down to the bottom here. Wait, is this the one? Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> it makes a door. Okay, I'm gonna go in the door, pause it here, and I'll see you in the next part.